So today we are building a set piece for the main set here, for the, but I think more specifically for the live streaming set. So Steve has these um, insulated thermoses that he uses when he's doing his overclocking. And I'm building an assembly of sorts to hang them on the wall so that we can display them and make them look cool, but also so that they'll be handy and uh, readily available whenever he decides to stream again and needs them. So I have, uh, we bought this and decided we didn't like the color and it was a little bit too narrow. Um, so this is actually going to go, the finished piece is going to go under the shelf. But uh, as you can see, it's kind of, it's kind of small and it felt, it felt like it was just too narrow for where we wanted to put it. So I have, uh, I'm going to tap into some of my old profession here and I'm going to sweat up some copper pipe with some valves and uh, fittings that uh, I sourced independently. This is a bag of things that I ended up not needing and wasting money on and I feel very bad about. But uh, such is the learning process. I, I didn't quite explain what I was going to do um, to Steve and then we ended up kind of changing back. So sorry about that, Steve. We'll, we'll use those eventually, I imagine, having, having our own building now. Right now, I'm mocking up how everything's going to be. I've got these two pieces cut, so this is the spacing. The spacing is going to be like this. That'll go in there. Well, I can just flip it for now for demonstration purposes. So as you can see, it's I've made a thing, and it's wider than the other thing, which I'm tremendously proud of. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, stay tuned. We're going to get this thing sweated up today. We've got our pipe laid out, our fixture laid out, rather, or like hanging fixture. Steve gave his kind of thumbs up on the dimensions, so here it is. You can see it all cut to sh uh, size. I'm going through and I'm, I'm prepping all these uh, pipes and fittings for soldering, or what, what is called sweating. And what this does is much like when you're soldering or welding or doing any kind of metal work where you're joining pieces, you want the surfaces to be really clean. So for the female bits, like the female fittings, I'm using the steel brush to clean out the um, inside of the pipe. And then for the outer bits, I'm using a porous sandpaper, much like you would on drywall, to, to score and prep the soldering sweating surface so that when we put some solder on it it'll it'll adhere very well now this is what we're doing here is cosmetic but the techniques we're using here um, you know you can you can run airline like this and this is actually where I learned how to do this was running airline for a factory um, these joints will be airtight, I mean, up to 200, 300 press, uh, PSI um, or whatever the pipe is rated for. When you sweat a joint like this or sweat pipe like this, it, it creates a very, very solid joint. And uh, once we get set up outside, we'll go over the kind of technique and how sweating is done. Um, and a, kind of a disclaimer, I've done this for a number of years, but I'm by no means an expert. I'm not a plumber by trade. I was just a, a facilities technician, so I did this on occasion um, and you know if you guys have input or advice on how to do it better and you see me doing something suboptimally please let us know so what side effects would arise if the ends weren't clean before sweating so the solder wouldn't the solder wouldn't get pulled in um, and it wouldn't mate so if you left this surface dirty uh, when you heat it up and we we melted the solder onto the pipe, it would it would just drip around. It wouldn't actually go in. Those oils would reject it because you're talking about, you know, when you're putting a pipe in here into a fitting like this, you're trying to get that solder to get sucked in. So we can we can go over this now. We'll go over it again when we go outside. But um, the trick to sweating is that you heat one side of your work area and then you apply the solder to the other and the solder is actually attracted to the heat. In an ideal scenario, you would uh, apply the solder on top and let gravity assist you even further uh, with getting the solder pulled towards the heat. So you heat up an area, so I'll heat up the fitting here, 
and then I'll apply solder here and hopefully it'll get pulled down and into and around this whole fitting. Um, it actually it happens very quick. Once the solder melts, it gets sucked in there in about you know under a second, and, it, and then you're done. And it's it's kind of an art form. Uh, there's a real trick to not getting the pipe too hot because then it kind of it burns the pipe and it looks ugly. So there there really is a lot of finesse and technique to it. And like I said, I'm not an expert, so I I kind of fully anticipate that a few of these uh, a few of these joints or fittings are going to look a little ugly. <laughs> we are set up outside and we are we've cleared out a little area on the concrete and we're getting ready to sweat these joints. Um, I'm going about this kind of uh, in a deliberate order of operations. Uh, I'm doing this piece like this so that all these valves will be at the same angle and then I'm going to do these pieces because I can always tighten or loosen these threads to get them to match up to where we want them to be on the wall. And then we'll, we'll of course, square it away when we go to put this on here first. So we'll do this, these joints first, then we'll make these pieces, then we'll clean up this one and mate that to that as, a last, as our last um, uh, step for at least as far as sweating goes. And then we'll see about getting it up on the wall. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. So again, the, the trick to sweating a pipe is getting the solder to be pulled in by the heat. So there it goes. So just like that, as soon as it got up to temperature, it pulled all the solder in. And in a few seconds, that'll be pretty hard. I mean, it's going to be very hot. So I'm going to go ahead and move down. It'll still be very hot, but it'll it'll have solidified and be be rigid. Um, so you can see that that is now spinning with with that joint. Um, let me just make sure I get these squared before I continue down. But it happens very quick, so you want to get you want to get out of there as quick as you can. In fact, I'm going to just wipe this down. Now, typically, if we were trying to preserve the actual valves inside of these, um, where the O-rings and the, you know the pieces that make this thing actually work inside of these valves, we would um, we would want to place a rag over here to keep this part of the valve cool. Because if you heat this up, it's going to melt all the plastic inside. We're not so much concerned about that here because this is cosmetic, and these valves aren't actually going to be holding or containing any water. So we're going to go ahead and move on to our next joint here. All right, and I'm just tracing the solder across the pipe, basically testing to see how hot it is. All right, so there it goes. It got pulled in. We're going to move on down to our next one. This is a shout out to Lewis Rossman. He taught Steve and told Steve to use as much flux as you possibly can. So I carried that over and I'm using as much soldering paste as I can, and never too much. What's all the liquid coming from? Is there water inside? That's the flux, it's, or that's the soldering paste here. It's not flux, we're using soldering paste. Um, as it heats up, it, it runs and it runs all over the surface because it, it comes out as a. You can show that here on camera, but this is the soldering paste. And when it gets when it gets hot, it kind of liquefies and starts to run out, which is what you're seeing here on the on the concrete. But I'm gonna go through and we're gonna we're gonna go down the line here and cool this off. You see, it's all still very hot. But these actually, these came out looking pretty good. I'm pretty proud of these, pretty happy with how they look. You can see this one is probably perfect. Here you can see I used a bit too much solder and it ran and kind of beat it at the bottom. That's not going to functionally uh, hurt it in any way or compromise it in any way, but it is 
just kind of not as neat and tidy as if uh, as as this one in the center. These two in the center look very good, and I'm pretty happy with them. You really want them to look like that. As you get better and more efficient and quicker, you just uh, your your work gets cleaner and cleaner. So I'm pretty happy because I didn't get any extra dripping. We did we did kind of we did burn up the concrete. Sorry, Steve. Sorry, not sorry. This is gonna look awesome. <laughs> Cool. So as you can see, that's that's super rigid. And now we're gonna get get to these other fittings. So there is to it. Happens fast. Behold. Look at what I've created. Oh my God, it's hot. <laughs> so you saw that I was only applying solder here at the top, but you could see it got pulled in and sucked in everywhere around the whole, the whole fitting. And uh, I don't know if we'll be able to see it. Yeah, it'll be hard to get a shot on this, Andrew, but if you look inside the fitting, you can actually see, maybe not on that one, you could see bits of the solder. So the solder actually works its way, it works its way up all the way into here, to the end of the pipe, um, or to the end of the, the male end of the, the fitting, um, all the way throughout this. So this whole, you know, half inch area all the way around is now covered in solder. But uh, that's how they do plumbing and air, like you can run compressed air through fittings like this, like, and it's, it's incredibly durable and and reliable and they they last for a very very long time longer than longer than we will there you have it one totally useless piece of plumbing except for hanging stuff <laughs> but i think it's going to look really cool on the set and i'm pretty pleased with how it's come out All right, let's get back and putting it on the wall. Okay, we get to see me struggle oh, right. to do this uh, by myself because uh, camera's busy. Uh, or camera's busy. <laughs> Andrew's busy holding the camera. I can hold something with one hand. False. I'm gonna accomplish this. This is like my astronaut training. Mayday. <laughs> Mayday. Mayday. Does Andrew want to pan around to the other three people that are in the room? No, there's, there's no one here to help me. I'm on my own. Uh, there's no way that this could be done differently or better or more efficiently. This is the only way that it can be done. It has to be done this way. All right. Look at that. Sponsored by Valve, but but not. We have no affiliation with Valve. <laughs> Gabe is my god. That actually, uh, I did not measure it to be this well spaced out, but it is. <laughs> oh, there's the other screw I was looking for. All right, it's a wrap. Cut, you can stop filming me. <laughs>